Hello, in this video, you're going to learn how to create a dynamic footstep system. So depending on the surface that the player walks on, will depend on the footstep sounds that we hear. To get started, we're first going to import some sounds of some footsteps. Somewhere in the video, I'll make sure to include a link to this. So they should be in this folder called footsteps. I'm just dragging one into my sound effects folder. Then we just want to go to the footsteps folder and go to the boots folder. And these are some sound effects of someone stepping on some ground. And we're going to make it randomly play one of these sounds every time my player takes a footstep. So if I just select all of these sounds, right click and go create single cue. And I'll just pull this my footstep cue. And if I open this up, when I click play cue, every time um, it plays this cue, it will play one of these random sounds. Okay, now that we've done that, we can just save this. And I'm going to head over to my first person character. Next, if we open up the FPS character and find some free space and just right click and look for add timeline. Call this the footstep timeline. And open this up. Then if we go to track, we want to add an event track and just call this the footstep track. Make the length of this 0.8 seconds. This is going to be how often we play our footstep sound effects. And we just want to right click and go add key to curve float. And at time 0.8, we want to have a value of zero. Just compile this, then head back to the event graph. And we should see the footstep track here. So every 0.8 seconds, when we reach this point in the timeline, it will basically play this footstep track. And what we're going to do is a sphere trace to check if my player is on the surface of anything. And if they are, then we'll play some footstep sound effects. So if I just drag off here and look for sphere trace by channel. And where this is going to start, we can just right click and look for get actor location and connect this into start. And where this will end, we can just drag off our character's location and look for break vector. And then we just want to drag in the um, player's capsule component and just drag off here and look for get scaled capsule half height. And we just want to drag off Z and look for subtract and connect this into here. And for the end, just right click and look for split structure pin and connect this into Z and X into X and Y into Y. And for the radius of our um, sphere traits, we can just drag off here and look for get scaled capsule radius. And connect this into here. So we're using the settings of our player's capsule to visibly determine whether they are on the surface of any wood. And if they are, so we can just drag up here and look for branch. And if this is true, that basically means my player is walking along the surface of something and we are going to play their footstep sound effect. So we can just drag up here and look for play sound at location. And the sound is going to be the footstep cue that we just made earlier. And where we're going to play it, we can just right click and look for get actor location and just connect this into here. And then one more thing, we just want to head back inside of this timeline and make sure it's looping. And if we just head back to the event graph, we want to go to where we handle the movement for our player. When our player is moving, we're going to check to see if their velocity is ever greater than zero. That basically means our player character is moving forwards. And if that's true, then we want to play our footstep sound effects. So I'm just going to right click here and look for get velocity. And then we just want to drag off here and look for vector length. And if this value is ever greater than zero, that means our player is moving. So we can just hold B on our keyboard and left click to quickly create a branch. And if that's true, then we can just play our footstep timeline. Another way of quickly playing this without connecting everything is to just go over to our components here and just look for the footsteps timeline, get it, and just drag off here and look for play and just connect this into here. If our player character's velocity is not greater than zero and they're moving, then we want to stop this timeline. 
So we can just drag up here and look for stop and connect pulse into here. And then if we just expand this, when our player lets go of um, any movement input, this completed node will fire. So we can just connect from here into the stop here. Okay, so now we can just go compile and test this out. So if I go play, oh, I'll just bring my speaker closer. When I'm moving, we can see, we can hear my player's footsteps. And if I stop, the first step stops. Hello, in this video, we're going to be updating our first step system. So depending on the service that my player walks on, will depend on the first step sound effect that we actually play. My screen looks a bit different as my old monitor stopped working. So if we just go back to our content drawer and go over to the SFX folder, then go over to the first step folder and open up the wood folder and just select one of these sound effects right click and go create a single key and just call this the wood queue. So when my player looks on our wooden surfaces, we'll play this sound effect. Next, let's go over to the metal folder and do the same thing. So select all of the sound effects, right click and go create symbol Q and just call this metal underscore Q. And then go over to the grass folder, select all of the sound effects, right click and go create symbol Q and call this grass Q. So we can do this for as many different services that we want the player to walk along. But for now, I'm just going to set up three. Then we just want to go over to edit and then select project settings. And then go to search and look for physical. And we want this one, physical services. And then we just want to set up the three different service types that we're going to add. So for this first one, type in wood. Then for the second one, type in metal. And then for this final one, type in grass. And then we can just close this. And then we're going to open up our content drawer again and go over to the first person character. And we just want to find our footstep system that we made last time. And when the player is walking along the surface of something, we do the sphere trace by channel. What we can do is just drag off this hit result and look for get surface type. And then we can just drag off it and look for switch on the physical surface type. And then it's going to have the um, surface types that we just set up, the wood, metal, or grass. We just want to connect from tree into here. So we're going to make sure that um, our player is hitting something. And if they are, then we're going to get what surface type that is. If it's just the default service type, We'll just make it play the default footstep sound effect. However, if our player is walking along the wooden surface, we'll make it play some wooden sound effects. So I'm just going to copy this and paste this four more times. So Control C and just select the amounts to copy some nodes, and then press Control B three more times to just paste it. I'll collect from wood into here, from metal into here, and from grass into here. And then uh, when my player walks along a wooden surface, we just want to play the wooden cue. When my player walks along a metal surface, we just want to play the metal cue. And when my player walks along a grass surface, we just want to play the grass cue. We can then just compile and save this. The next thing we need to do is set up the different surfaces that the player can walk along. So I'm just going to go over here where it says quickly add things to my project. Then go to shapes and just add a cube. And then just move this cube up a bit and then just scale it. So it's kind of wide and a bit thick. And then just go to select and translate objects. And if you hold Alt on your keyboard with this cube selected, it will quickly allow you to create a duplicate. And then just do that one more time. So Alt on your keyboard and just slide with your mouse and create another duplicate. For the spur surface, change it to be a wooden surface so if you've not already make sure that you have the starter content enabled in your project it comes with a bunch of um, materials and particles so that's what i'm using here so for this first surface i'm just going to change it to be this um wooden one and we just want to select the second surface and change it to be a metal surface and then select this third one and change it to be a grass surface and just go back to the content drawer 
and go into content and we just want to create a new folder and just pull it footsteps open it up then we just want to right click scroll down and go to physics and select physical material select this physical material and just go select and call this first one grass underscore physics material open this up and change the surface type to be the grass one then we just want to right click again and just duplicate this change this one to be the wooden physical material right click on this just duplicate this and call this the metal physical material and then just open up the wooden physical material and change the surface type to be the wooden one you can save this and then just open up the metal physical material and change this to be the metal one then we need to save this then we just want to go to each material here click the um browse button this will take us to the material open it up and then go over to the physical material tab here and this is my um wooden material so i'm just going to give it the wooden physical material save this and then we're going to do the same for the metal so i'm just going to go to it open it up and give this the metal physical material save it then we will go to the grass material open it up and i will change this to being the grass physical material we can save this and now if i go clay and i will come on my wooden material it should play some wooden sound effects if I walk along the uh, metal one, should play some metal ones. And if I walk along the grass one, should play some grass ones. And that's how we can set up um, different foot sound effects depending on the surface that my player walks along. Nice. So, that's all for this video. And this video is part of my course series, How to Make a Complete Survival Horror Game in Unreal Engine 5. If you're interested in learning more about it, make sure to check out my courses. You can find them somewhere in the description of this video. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.